the first special person in the village is the, the chief. chief. Mm -hmm. In case of any conflict in the village, yeah. the chief and the other people are the one who solve all our cases here. And the second special person, the midwife. Midwife. The midwife is the one who delivers babies and the one who takes care of all the pregnant ladies in the village. And then the third person is the Maasai medicine man, Maasai doctor. So in case of any person who is not feeling well, the medicine man is the one who we boil the bush and bring medicine, we boil and drink and feel okay. And then the, the third person is the blacksmith. The blacksmith is the person who make a weapon for protection, the spear, the knife. Like this one of mine, we have the blacksmith who make here, you see? It's written Buffalo Masemara. This one of mine, I try to hit the lion. The lion. I try to learn This one is the cow skin. Cow tail. And this is the, this is the cow, cow skin. So many people, they normally take no problem because it's making a Maasai village. Okay? Okay. And at some point you have two wife, two houses. One, one house for one lady. Another house for one lady. So the first ladies should be in the right side. That first one and this is the second one. Okay? And here in the middle is the place we keep all our cows at night. It's very rough. But the cedar we get from the mountain. And also we use this one. See? Very rough. Okay? Okay, and in the village we have the work for men and the work for ladies. The work for men in the village, they do fence around the village. They maintain security at night to make sure that the people and animals are safe. And also they do take uh, cows, cows, sheep and goats for grazing the mountain. And in the evening they come back home. And the work for ladies in the village, they do build our houses. We have a one house for one lady. But time for construction, all ladies from the village, they come and construct together. To make sure that in one month time, the houses have been constructed. Another work for ladies, they go to the bushes, they collect fire. We have a use for making fire in our houses. And also they do fetch water from the river. But right now, we have a clean water here. The guests like you, like you, they see the community need clean water and they help us with drill the water. Because long time ago, we get water from the river. And the water from the river is not that clean. Because many cows, many animals, they do cross the river and they make water that. Okay? Okay. And also Maasai, they are very happy for your coming. Because actually the money you paid you to support all the Maasai kids to go to school. Because here, Maasai Mara, Maasai people, we don't do farming. So we get support from the only the tourists and uh, sell our cars to get support to our kids to school. Mm -hmm. But uh, the population here is 100 people here. 100 people in, in the village. Yeah, because of polygamy. And also ladies can have many children. So this is how Maasai look like. So the material we use for the construction of the Maasai house. In the wall we use the wood. After wood, we collect the cow and the clay soil, we we'll do smear it. And then in the roof, we use the wood, grass, plastic. Whereby in case of rain, no water inside the master house because of plastic paper. After plastic, cow dung and the clay soil. And the construction takes one month. And after you build in one month, it can last five to six years. Six years. Yes. Yeah. So, so we are going to see inside now. So you can make your touch because... So this is a kitchen place. So we normally use fire for making fire. And mm -hmm. after fire on the smoke pass the small window here. Mm -hmm. And after the smoke, they pass here and our houses we have no mosquito because of the smoke. Yeah. The smoke made by the fire, mosquito don't like. Mm -hmm. So our houses we have no mosquito. So this is a, a last 
part of the village. There's a Maasai local shop where ladies they make some beadwork like this one. And the men they make carving. So whenever you like something to promote the community, no problem. So the more you buy, the more you support the community to get food to the go and buy. And we don't force anybody to buy. If, if you want just to buy, no problem. And if you don't, no problem. Okay? It's just your wish. Yeah. So this is a Maasai local shop. The Maasai ladies, they make beads. Mm -hmm. The Maasai men, they make cabin. So your time take around in case you need something to promote the community, no problem. So it's, it's allowed to pick. Whatever you like, you can just pick it to give to this guy. He carry for you and later all good price. And also our prices are negotiable. We share for the best price. <laughs>